how would you uh, how would you characterize uh, Lenny's teaching? I mean, I think that's something a lot of people wonder about. And what what were his main focuses? I think his main focus was uh, to be able to uh, decide what kind of uh, person was uh, seeking this knowledge and uh, telling them as closely as possible in a way that they could understand uh, what uh, is entailed in, in learning how to play like this. For example, Warren Marsh, who uh, played the piano also, was very harmonically oriented. So his emphasis with Warren uh, was to include that as a vital part. Mm. For me, uh, I wasn't that uh, interested in the harmonies. I was more trying to get one note to follow another. So he encouraged that. Also, uh, uh, um, you know, suggesting uh, that I understand what uh, harmonically, what's involved harmonically, running the arpeggios and and uh, all those kind of exercises to teach a single note player uh, uh, something about harmony, you know. Mm. So it was a very personalized teacher. Very personalized, so that nobody really stu uh, sounded like uh, Lenny, except, uh, you know, the piano players uh, couldn't resist playing some of his phrases and things. Yeah. But they, uh, for the most part, the people who studied with them had uh, their own way of playing. Mm. Uh, as opposed to the people who uh, studied not personally, but through the records of Charlie Parker. Mm. You had to play his phrases, because that was uh, what Bebop was talking about, these great phrases and this great strong rhythmic concept and things like that that he had developed and perfected.